Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 4th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun for the past 48 hours, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed here with Daily Events Worldwide. We did have a couple large M-class solar flares in an outgoing position. Nothing major has been shot out our way, having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, cresting limb of our sun. No major new sunspots peeking around, but we do have some pretty tall plasma filaments that we're going to be watching here over the next few days. See if they stay intact or destabilize. Having a look at the last 48 hours outgoing, this is where we saw all of the activity. Large M-class solar flares. Outgoing direction, but did produce some pretty sizable coronal mass ejections. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, noting the plasma filaments that are erecting from the surface there incoming, and as well in the southwest region and northeast region. No major coronal holes to display. Just some amazing images of a wild sunspot going crazy and luckily not in an earth-facing position. Did produce some pretty sizable coronal mass ejections as posted here with daily events worldwide. We saw a space weather event over the weekend. KP levels up on over six. Another quick lighter look at our sun for the past 48 hours. I want to thank every each and every one of you for subscribing and tuning in tonight. Much love to you all. Appreciate your patience during this time. My voice has not been the greatest, but starting to come back today. Another look at 171 angstroms here at the active seven sunspot regions. Here we can really see our heliosphere in action and all the plasma loops firing around the sunspot regions. Speaking of which, this is our sunspot regions in action. Two notable, pretty fast-forming sunspot regions, Earth-facing. Current space weather conditions, there are none to speak of. Solar winds coming in at 367 kilometers per second. Looking at our solar X-ray flux right now, hanging out in the high C range. After seeing two large M-class solar flares the last two days, and as well as strong C-class solar flare today, Solar X-ray flux remains low. Geomagnetic activity, we hopped up to a KP6 there on the night of September 2nd into the 3rd. ISWA space prediction spiral still only showing the outgoing CME. And as well, incoming space weather and that little orange planet getting ready for Mercury retrograde. That is Mercury. And another look here at the NOAA space prediction spiral, pretty much showing the same thing. Incoming space weather next event will be 7th into the 8th of September. Unless something major is shot out our way. Let's have a look at Alaska 2. Brought to you by Soho. This is showing all of our sun's energy taking off from the surface. Notable here. Very large see me. Luckily this was not in an earth facing direction. Watching the top right hand corner there. Mammoth plasma ejection from that CME. Amazing images, amazing sun, and amazing times to be able to document and share all of this information with all of you for the awareness and preparedness of humanity during these oh so special times. And thank you for watching. Let's have a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes as it's pretty quiet under. 180 earthquakes in a 24-hour period according to usgs and even on this map is very low no major earthquakes to talk about 5.0 there indonesia minor earthquakes across the eurasian plate up into greece as well this is the largest earthquake today north of ascension island 5.1 magnitude in the mid-atlantic ocean south american plate Minor activity there, and as well notable here, 4.5 Venezuela. 
Puerto Rico has been a hot spot today, Dominican Republic. And looking across the North American plate, no major swarms to talk about. Notable here, size of the largest earthquake across North American soil, 3.2 there, Lamont, California. And nothing major to report, Hawaii. As I said, very low numbers right now. Deepest earthquake past 24 hours, 427 kilometer depth in Fiji. Have a quick browse here at the last seven days for shakers across the world. Take a quick moment to thank you all for watching and as well subscribing to daily events worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. I've met a lot of great new faces recently and they've become friends and family to this channel. So welcome to the channel and thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the memberships, love and support to this channel. Heads up, North American plate. Something big is coming. These deep earthquakes are starting to add up. And not enough bounce back into North America. Now I wanted to share here with you some satellite imagery overlooking the Atlantic Ocean. We did have Tropical Storm Adalia and Franklin and as well Ivan all through the mid-Atlantic this week. But Franklin lasted for about 14 days. And then Tropical Storm Irwin came northward just east of it and they joined forces and headed north towards the North Atlantic. We'll be heading towards Portugal in the long range. But just amazing images here as Tropical Storm Adalia most likely will be heading back into land over the next three to four days. Satellite imagery showing it now just south of the Atlantic provinces in Canada. The center of the low anyway. Now, something else I want to share here is the SO2 models. Lots of SO2 coming out of BC and as well through Anchorage, Alaska and the Aleutian Islands. Now, fires are responsible for the ones in BC, volcanoes for the Aleutian Islands. Overlooking here the rest of the world, SO2 models for the next three days. Noting there, volcanoes in Africa. And then overlooking Southeast Asia and the West Pacific. Notable off the coast of Kamchatka, Eastern Russia. Tons of SO2 encompassing our Northern Hemisphere. And as well, lots of SO2 coming out of New Caledonia region around the Aoba volcano. A couple new ones have erupted in that region. Now let's get to world weather here brought to you by windy.com. Huge low pressure system moving into the South Indian Ocean and will continue to spin around along the shorelines here for the next few days. Other than that, no major typhoons developing, but in the long range, disturbance there through the central Pacific could develop a typhoon for southern Japan and the South China Sea. And then in the long range forecast, low pressure system still lingering around through India. Watch for heavy rains and flash floods throughout the region. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that will be affected by these flooded regions. Overlooking at Europe, big low pressure system off the coast of the United Kingdom and France right now. Huge high pressure blockade and intense low pressure system moving through the eastern Mediterranean. Daily evaporation, rains, and storms across Central Africa. And then noting in the long-range forecast, some pretty big tropical systems here developing in the Atlantic Ocean. Carrying on here, this is Tropical Storm Adalia. And then low pressure system moves in for Ontario Wednesday into Thursday. After the heat wave, we're going to see some intense weather with that. So extreme weather watch for most of Ontario Wednesday into Thursday. Low pressure system will continue to grind northeastward into Quebec. And then a low pressure system moving into the west coast as well. And in the long range, two very large tropical systems here developing north of the Caribbean islands 
and as well in the Central Atlantic. Hot and warmy condition, hot and stormy conditions will persist this week throughout Ontario and as well eastern United States, central United States, and as well all through the Gulf states. Having a look here at temperatures, 41 to 42 degrees Celsius, Gulf of California, cooler temperatures for Canada in the long range. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.